Now hold up, wait a second. Before I show you how to farm and complete any exotic catalyst in under 15 minutes, I first want to say that my code, code MyFi, currently will get you a huge 30% off all G Fuel products. Scientific research has shown that using code MyFi when picking up G Fuel will increase your chances of obtaining God Roll weapons and high stat armor by 100%. So I'm just saying, you better pick some up while you can. Okay, to the video. So you've got yourself a shiny new exotic catalyst and you're excited to complete it and reap the rewards that the catalyst has to offer. You see that you just need to defeat some enemies. So you load up some strikes and run a few only to realize that your catalyst progression bar has went up a grand total of 3%. You're now sitting there wondering what to do and how you're gonna complete this before Destiny's next expansion. Well, that's where I, Papa MiFi comes in. In this video, I'm going to show you the absolute best way to complete any exotic catalyst in under 15 minutes. I'm talking 10 to 15 minutes and it's done. But first, if you're new and only if you enjoy the videos, then feel free to subscribe. Also, big shout out to all the recent new channel members. I don't ever promote it because honestly, I forget it's there. But we've had a surge in people joining. So I thought I'd thank all of those people. Thank you so much. Also, twitch.tv slash myfi with an underscore at the end is where I stream. So if you want to watch a below average ginger play Destiny, then uh, come on over. Okay, plugs done. Let me show you how to complete your catalyst in lightning fast time. As we all know, my favorite and also one of the best places to farm exotic catalysts prior to Beyond Light was the Thrall Room in the Whisper Mission on IO. Well, that's no longer an option because uh, IO got RKO'd by the darkness. So now we move on to plan B, or what I'm calling now plan A. And no, I'm not talking about Shirochi. It has little to no ads. And honestly, I like to just set up and just point, click, shoot until my catalyst is done. I don't wanna have to keep wiping, placing rally banners, using my rally banners, because man, those things are expensive. Now the method I'm about to show you is one that is known, but it gets looked over because you got to do a little work to get it going. But once you get it going, you can knock out around four to five catalysts in an hour with little to no brain power required, just like I like it. That's right, boys. I'm talking about Thrall Room in the Shattered Throne dungeon. Now, before you freak out because you're a solo player and it says solo in the title, I'm going to show you step by step how to solo Shattered Throne up until the Thrall Room. And well, if I can do it, then you can do it. Come on, man. Believe in yourself. This can be done on any class, but for this video, I will be playing on a warlock. For weapons, I recommend, and it's super simple, a bow, a shotgun, and a falling guillotine. If you have Wish Ender, then that's going to be huge because of the special perk that it has for taking enemies. And if you have the first and last out, the God Roll Shotgun I talked about in yesterday's video, then that's also going to be massive. Okay, so that's pretty much all you need. Let's go ahead and get into a live com of me soloing Shattered Throne and show you how to get to the Thrall Room in case you've never seen it before or you just don't know how to get there solo. Upon spawning in, go ahead and head toward the entrance. If you're not too sure where that is, then just follow where I go on screen. Upon approaching the entrance, you will get a respawning restricted and enemies will spawn in front of you. From here, just go ahead and whip out your bow and just take care of a lot of the enemies from afar. Once most enemies are dead, then you can move up with the sword and take care of the yellow health bar ultra. Once all the enemies have been cleared, a symbol will spawn right before you enter the door. Now on screen, there is gonna be a map made by a fellow YouTuber, Abontis. This map is gonna show you pretty much how to do the first encounter. The first symbol that spawns here is gonna to correspond to a symbol shown on that map. You need to head to where that symbol is shown and kill everything there and then kill the ultra or the yellow health bar ad that is there. From there, another bright glowing symbol will spawn that will correspond to another part of the map on screen. And that's where you need to go. And you need to do that and repeat that until you've pretty much cleared all the symbols and you end up back right here. If we enter the door, 
you will always end right here because well once you're done then the floor will open up and you can progress on to the next part of the shattered throne so our first one is actually this little o fish i'm actually really not too sure what this is actually called but what we do know is that that is to the right it's actually directly to the right now there will be enemies that will spawn throughout this as you, you know you're moving along and uh you know moving to your next symbol uh, you can just take your time. Doesn't really matter, you know, however long you take, because this isn't about speed. This is about you just getting there solo. So let's go ahead and move in on this first one. There we go. The yellow health bar ad is dead. And now we have another symbol. Let's move on to that one. That one is actually going to be uh, in the center of the map, the dead center of the map. So we're just going to backtrack to the beginning of the map and then just head straight there. Actually, we can head right on over here and go directly to the center. There we go. The final guy is dead and the floor opens. Go ahead and continue on. Now this part is gonna be a little bit of just mainly killing enemies and I wouldn't really say platforming, not yet, uh, but you know, a little bit of platforming. Once you reach right here, you can actually look down Go ahead and start taking care of some of these enemies. You don't have to deal with them up close. Your main worry is just the big guys. So once the invisible Minotaur is dead, you can go ahead and proceed on. And make sure you're watching out for these vandals. These vandals will mess you up.
Once big guy's dead, another door will open. And well, there's a, a lot of vandals in here. So just take your time at this door, for real. Take as much time as you need. Literally just clear everything before like even entering, so. Once you're able to progress up just a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and get to the center of the room. You can use this right here as cover as you take care of the rest of the enemies in here. Now, upon reaching this part, okay, this is going to be your main platforming section. As you can see, there's a lot of ogres and, you know, normally ogres aren't really that big of a deal, but these ogres can hit you from quite a far range and they have knockback enabled. So one wrong move, as you can see, I'm going to take a few shots from this guy. See how he's knocking me back? Yeah, you're going to want to avoid those guys. If you're feeling ballsy, you can just run past all of them uh, very, very quickly. Uh, if you're not feeling ballsy, then uh, I recommend you take out all the ogres just with a bow from afar. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do here. Right there, those ogres will spawn. So go ahead and just... Keep it moving as fast as you can. Don't let anyone catch you. I was going to make a gingerbread man joke there, but decided not to, you know. Once you've reached about right here, if they start knocking you from here, well, then they're just going to knock you into the correct point. Upon getting here, you will see a new objective. The ogres behind you will despawn. And uh, here you are. Here is the room of which you need to be at. This is the thrall room. Now, whenever you enter this barrier, you are going to be slowed. And whenever I say slowed, I mean you just can't like double jump or run. Uh, from here, you can go ahead and throw on whatever you know weapon you wanna complete the catalyst for. You can have, you know, two, three, four, five, six weapons, you know, just waiting in your inventory uh, ready to you know just get a bunch of kills with so here i just need a ton of kills with crimson uh so i'm gonna go ahead i'm actually gonna throw crimson on on walking in you'll see slowed you can't really do anything now your goal here right there's gonna be some thralls that you know spawn in and rush you if you die no big deal you'll just spawn right back in front of that door uh but your goal here is to continue to progress up now you, you might think oh i can just you know do this anywhere this is great like look how many thralls are spawning and they don't stop spawning until you get to right here on getting to right here you'll turn around you can clear out the rest of these thrall and then turn to the front of you and you'll notice that no more thralls are spawning behind you from there just go ahead and sit at the top of these stairs i recommend using something like stasis just to help with freezing them just so you can just you know go ahead and get set up this makes it a lot easier but once you're here, you can just set literally right here. Just get everything you need. If you are going for precision kills like I am, what I actually recommend just to make precision kills easier is to come over here on this ledge, turn around. The thrall actually can't jump up here, uh, like, you know, from right there over the stairs, but they can get up here and they'll run at you in just a straight line. So you, you can just aim up for their heads and just get precision kills all day long. And if you're worried about ammo, uh, yeah, um, you shouldn't be just from the look on the ground. Yeah, you're never gonna have to worry about ammo. So anyone that says that Shrill Chi is the way to go because you have a rally flag, dude, dude, you don't need ammo. Trust me. Trust me. You do not need ammo. I mean, just look.
And there we go. I normally don't ask for you to share, you know, my videos, but if you did find it useful and you want to share it with your friends after you flex on them with all of your completed catalysts, that you got done in one day, of course, then, well, I'd appreciate it. Now, before you head out, real quick, let me know in the comment section if you've gotten the brand new Leviathan's Breath Catalyst or not. Have you gotten it? Have you completed it? Or have you not touched Leviathan's Breath since getting it and you didn't even know that it got a brand new catalyst? Let me know in the comment section. With all that being said, remember, code MIFI at GFuel for 30% off until December 7th. If you enjoyed the video, then feel free to slap a like on it, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.